Troy, 14-year-old Carly Greggs is being charged as an adult. Today, I spoke with a neighbor who describes this incident as heinous. There just feels like there's, there's something missing. There's something wrong. There's, it's just, um, it's like a level of caution of just that, you know, you don't think that something like that would happen. According to Rankin County Sheriff Brian Bailey, the department received a call about a shooting Tuesday around 5.07 p.m. at home on Ashton Way in the Farmington Station subdivision in Brandon. When deputies arrived, they found a man who had been shot in the shoulder. What they heard next would be shell shocking. The victim explained that when he came home, he saw his 40 year old wife, Ashley Smiley, dead on the floor and his stepdaughter, 14 year old Carly Greggs, armed with a pistol. Within the blink of an eye, he says Greggs shot him in the shoulder. He tussled with her to get the gun before she ran to the backyard, jumped the fence and took off. Lauren Martinez says she was inside the house when she received an alert from the neighborhood Facebook group telling neighbors to lock their doors. They said, you know, everybody on Ashton Way, lock your doors at night. Um, it turns out someone who is potentially dangerous is on foot. Additional deputies, as well as the Mississippi Highway Patrol helicopter, located Greg's not far from the house and took her into custody. Martinez says she still feels uneasy when walking out of the house. You can't fathom those kind of thoughts and you just wouldn't think that the child would do anything like this. On Wednesday, after a youth court appearance, a judge ruled Greg's to be charged as an adult with murder and attempted murder. The 14 year old girl was transferred to the Rankin County Detention Center where she will be held into her next court appearance. A judge gave her a $1 million bond. According to the Rankin County School District, Smiley was a math teacher at Northwest Rankin High School and her daughter was a student there also. We did reach out to the district and a spokesperson says they will not be commenting at this time. For now, I'm live in Brandon, Kennedy Cooper 16, WAB2 News.